Hello, it's Helen from Journal With Purpose and welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to be sharing a flip through of some pages that I've completed in this little book. It's the first time I've used it and it's an Astalogy 365 Days journal and this is A6 size and I bought mine from Colt Pens. Each month on Patreon, I release a challenge to work on throughout the course of the month. And for April, I picked a sketching challenge. So the aim was to try and find something from each day to do a sketch or doodle of, which somehow ties into your day. And the reason I wanted to do that is I've got quite a comfort zone when it comes to sketching and painting, which is usually to do with nature. So I really wanted to kind of stretch myself and try and find different things that I could add to these pages. And the first thing I noticed with this Stalogy book is the beautiful crinkly noise it makes once you've added watercolour and I absolutely love that. But so I just thought I'd share with you just a quick flip through of what I got up to during April and the sketches that I added to this little book. So I started off with this page where I'd said that I was loving sewing patchwork at the moment and that's currently a work in progress. It was something my nan taught me to do as a child so it's really precious to me and I love having that added in here. And this is what I was talking about, one of my favourite things at the weekend is having time to get messy and play with paint and that's one of my favourite brands of paint, the Royal Talons Amsterdam Acrylics. And then Sundays are the days that I tend to set up my journals for the new week and the Caveco Sports, one of my favourite fountain pens. And then this was a picture of my mug that I drew. That was kind of a Monday morning feeling. I love that mug because it's so happy and smiley. So it's always a good one to start the week with. And then I started doing different things. So on this day, I sketched a bag of crisps that I had with my lunch. And I've so enjoyed looking at the different fonts and the kind of packaging and marketing that goes behind these products. So I've really, really enjoyed just playing around with different things in here. My favorite brush pen, the Tombow Fudenosuke. In here I sketched um, some decaf coffee. I've been trying to cut down how much caffeine I have. So, and I thought that this coffee that we've just bought had a really beautiful label. So I loved adding that in here. And then my Friday sketch, I do food shopping every Friday morning. And as a treat, I nearly always bring us back something from the bakery section for breakfast. That was kind of an indication of weekends, means cleaning days, getting all the washing through the washing machine. But again, really enjoyed just looking at ordinary things that are around the house and I don't tend to pay much attention to and just looking at how they deal with their labelling and packaging and fonts. Just so, so interesting. It made me look at things in a completely different way. Then a little sketch of my watercolour palette. And then the, I talked about the fact I've been slowly building up my art and stationery supplies over the years. And the, one of my favorites is the Ranger Distress Oxide ink pads. And then because it started to get a bit warmer and I've spent more time outside, I've talked about the fact that I then start to get hay fever. So that's always near my desk as well. I really just sat down often at lunchtime to look what was around my desk, what have I been doing that morning? And this was an, just an everyday essential, our toothpaste. Again, love looking at how they use different colours on there. Then a picture of my iPhone. And this was some hot cross buns. I wasn't terribly happy with how that came out because they just looked too flat, but I still really enjoyed just playing around with the different browns to get the difference of the top of the hot cross bun and then the bottom once it was cut. And then on this day we went for a beautiful walk and I wanted to recreate the blossom tree that I'd seen and I used a little cotton bud dipped in gouache to create the petals on here. 
And then I spend a lot of the day gardening. So again, so it would be nice to have one of my gardening tools in here. And then I'd said after a not great sleep, a warm pot of coffee was most welcome. So I drew my little cafetiere. And this was to represent, I went to a cafe with some of my family. This was in the run up to my birthday and we just sat there for a couple of hours drinking cup after cup, really lovely to catch up. And then this was a sketch of my little box from Stationery Pal that I've shared an unboxing with. And again, I loved the different colors and all of the little doodles they had on their packaging. And this was my birthday, so I just drew a little gift bag to represent that. I found it quite good to just try and pick one thing that would symbolize something that happened that day. And then the next day we met up with some friends for drinks and the weather was beautiful actually, I was really lucky over my birthday. So we just sat outside again, catching up, having a couple of drinks. Then the next day back to doing some gardening. So I thought rather than be annoyed at all of the weeds which spring up everywhere, that actually maybe I'd try and appreciate one. So I drew then one of the dandelions and painted that in here. And then we went out for a really lovely lunch the next day. Again, beautiful weather, able to sit outside. And it was just the end of a really lovely week for my birthday. So definitely happy to have that in there. And then I was sitting at my desk just trying to decide what to sketch and when I looked out of the window just to the side of my desk there's I noticed a robin there we're so lucky we always have lots of birds in our garden all day and when I go out and do the gardening the robin always stays there and follows me around and I usually think that I cannot sketch birds at all so I'm really really pleased with how this little guy turned out this day I just sent out a newsletter through my blog. I do that every two weeks, just kind of a catch up on what's on my journal pages, the projects I'm working on, um, perhaps inspiration that I've spotted elsewhere of different workshops or programs. So I thought I'd turn that into something to look a bit like a newspaper. And then this week I've just started filming my next Skillshare class. And one of the things that I did that morning for the class was go and collect some leaves. So I thought that would be really fun to have there. And then the next day when I was filming for Skillshare, I've included a little bit of stamp carving in one of my classes. So that's my stamp carving tool. And I'm about two thirds of the way through that class being filmed now. So I'm really hoping to share a trailer with it for you soon. So you know when it's out and ready to take. And then this was back to my Friday morning food shopping trip. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different with a bag showing some of the food coming out of the top. And then the last day of the month, not a fun job, but cleaning the bathrooms and mopping the floors. So I really hope you've enjoyed that. One of the things I just really wanted to do was feel that I'd then have more confidence to add things like this onto my regular journal pages. And I definitely feel now that I'd be much happier giving that a go. I think doing nature related items will always be my favorite, but I really liked the idea of just having these little sketches, which just summarize something from that day. But I hope you're doing well and I really hope you enjoyed seeing this. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's joined me over on Patreon. Thank you ever so much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.